Yo, what is up YouTube? It has been a while since I've made a video for you guys and I just want to give you guys an update of what's been going on in my life, why I haven't made uh, videos for a while, and kind of answer these questions and talk about how like I want this channel to be kind of going forward. Um, so right now what's going on is we're all dealing with the coronavirus situation. For me, it's March 22nd um, and I'm really unsure about how crazy this coronavirus! Woo! Woo! coronavirus thing is going to be um it's you know affected the factories in china it's affected um, my sales on amazon um and i've seen like a 10 percent like decrease uh compared to like last month for sure uh, my international sales are still holding strong but i think that's only because like it hasn't like really hit as hard in those areas just as of yet um, i don't sell in italy so i don't really can't really speak on like how that market's really doing but that's kind of the current situation for me right now um and you know um i also flew my mom back um so we're hanging out with that uh, it's been cool to just kind of catch up with my mom it's been like over a year since i've seen her um and you know it's interesting to see like and feel like how lucky we are to how lucky i feel to just like be able to have an online business that's still running even though my sales are a little bit lower but my mom just you know puerto rico just quarantined every single business um and i think there's like curfews and things going on over there so like she had no reason to really be there and so i just told her i was just like hey why don't you just fly back to houston come hang out uh, and when things get better then you can fly back to puerto rico you know um so that's what the situation is right now uh for that but in like 2019 uh one of the things i wanted to do more was just focus on myself uh, my personal development and focus on my business, right? I realized that kind of like in 2018, um, I was kind of taking on a lot of projects, right? Um, so, you know, Rebate Key, Pixel Fi, um, the Solo Tradecraft coaching stuff, um, my private label business. I started a wholesale side of my business um, and it started to get a little bit overwhelming in order to do all that, have a social life um, and, you know, focus on gym and like my diet and everything like that. And I just couldn't sustain it. Um, so what I really cut out was just making content, um, you know, for YouTube and, you know, like posting a lot in the Facebook groups like I normally do. Um, and, you know, over the past year, I kind of like really missed it, right? I just missed like interacting with like my subscribers. I missed interacting with like the Facebook group and the community and whatnot. Because at the end of the day, one of the things that I found key to my success is that like when I give out a lot of content, like... I find it just like pays back tenfold somehow. Someone gives me some tips, someone opens some doors, someone, you know, just leads me to like some connection. And I don't know, it's kind of fun uh, for those reasons. And there's a lot of perks to doing it, right? Um, I get free software from doing it sometimes just because like I'm a name in a space um, and whatnot. So, you know, that can really add up when you have like a lot of software uh, we're testing out in the space. Um, Business-wise, like uh, one of the things I want to talk about is like I started doing wholesale a little bit more. Uh, this was kind of like it kind of fell in my lap because I got a hire that was um, that had wholesale experience and she really wanted to um, get paid more. So I was like, hey, like if you can bring in like some wholesale accounts, like I'll pay you more. Um, and it kind of just started taking off, and I was like, oh wow, like this is something I need to like really start paying attention to. Um, and I started building a team around her. Um, so now I have about, I think, seven people full-time that uh, work for me, like, online, that are VAs, um, and they're awesome. Um, I've also fired, like, five people that... You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> like, I've hired in the past year just because of, like, uh, culture cohesion. Like, they, you know, they, like, some, some of the hires, like, said they could do a lot of things, and, like, they didn't. Some of the hires, like were saying like they can't even like work 40 hours a week even though they said they would you know and they always had excuses week on week on week um and you know like every single hire that like i had to let go i just really regret like why didn't i fire them like faster you know because it does affect the rest of the team it affects the morale and affects the company's cash flow um and affects their effort and time right um and i did think it was unfair to my team where I was, you know, making them train these new people and then like I was letting them go like three or four weeks later, you know, and that's a waste of time, but uh, you live and you learn and now we're kind of like pickier with like who we hire and whatnot uh, alongside with the team. 
Um, private label side, things have been going great. Um, I don't really know what to say besides like launches have going, been going really well. Um, I can talk more about that actually. I wanted to see if you guys were curious to like hear about like what my launch strategies like in the past like, couple months have been, in the past year has been. Um, Cause you know, launching isn't that hard anymore. Just saying, uh, especially if you get the right product and you do the right market analysis. Um, there's a couple of things I've been learning from like other people in the space. Um, I can talk about those too, depending on like what you guys kind of want to hear. Um, and that's what this video is kind of about and what I want to get towards. Um, so I know like I've been making a lot of videos in the past year and I told you this cause I was like busy. Um, but I also had like a difficult time in my life actually last year. Um, there's a lot of family issues that I had going on. Um, and I actually ran into financial issues because of my family issues. Um, and you know, I was actually depressed, uh, for the first time this past year, uh, or ever in my life because of these issues. Um, so it just made me balancing, uh, it made it way harder for me to balance like all of these things. Um, especially being like a first time entrepreneur, dealing with a digital business, dealing with depression for the first time, um, and dealing with like financial issues, like all coming at once. Uh, but I'm in a way better spot now. Like, um, besides this coronavirus situation that we got going on, um, I feel mentally better physically. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm at my biggest, I, I am right now, uh, which I'm pretty happy about, um, uh, weighing in at 168, trying to get to 175. If you got fitness goals, let me know. Uh, oh, and if you guys got any cool like home uh, fitness like YouTube channels that you guys recommend, please let me know. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun doing those with my girlfriend. Uh, there's one named Pamela, something that's been a lot of fun yoga wise. I've been doing like Sarah uh, yoga with Sarah Beth or something. Um, and Adrian, like she's pretty cool uh, and get at it too. Um, and then other than that, um, what I really want to end it with is that, you know, like I said that. I want to make more content for you guys, but I want to do it like on my own terms, right? I felt like some of the videos that I've produced in the past that me and Fernando and Nick have produced in the past, we felt like we just really had to pump it out because we were trying to win the YouTube algorithm and try to post like two videos every single week. Um, and I don't know, like I just don't really care about the number of subscribers I get anymore, but I just want to make sure the content that I push out is quality. Um, I don't want to make like super long videos anymore. Um, I, I think, <laughs> depending on how long the content is. And I want to get straight to the point into like some of these videos where it's blabbering on, because that's what I've kind of noticed within the comments. Um, and like, I get, I have that feeling too when I watch other YouTube videos, I'm like, can you just get to the point? Um, so I think that's something I'm going to start doing in my videos a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to ask like what you guys like really enjoy about like my YouTube channel, right? Like, do you guys enjoy like a lot of the Amazon stuff that we go over? Do you guys enjoy like kind of like the uh the mindset kind of stuff that i end some videos with like the motivation stuff um like how to run your business how to treat people like is that what you guys want to hear about more you know like so is it amazon stuff is it like business stuff in general management tips right um is it because or do you guys want to hear like detailed stuff like product launches right like what areas do you guys like really want me to dive into or uh, this one's like uh, something like we've never done before, but is it like more do you guys, guys want to see like what behind the scenes is like, what like our lives is like and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I feel like I want to get back to YouTube, start making a little bit more videos, but I really want to like read your comments about what you guys are going to say in this video. Kind of figure out like, hey, what's the plan for like this YouTube channel going forward? Because like, because this YouTube channel... I've made so many connections. I've met so many people in the space that I just don't want to let it die. Like I just want to capitalize on this and keep it growing and just have it open more doors and whatnot. Right. Um, and I actually want to encourage actually you guys to consider making your own YouTube videos. And if you guys ever want to collaborate, like, please let me know. Um, cause one of the things like I said, like it's opened up so many doors for me doing this YouTube thing. And I think if you, you know, decide to share your story on camera, just like a lot of my other friends have in the space um, that kind of came after me. Uh, just want to highlight Sam Brax, Tom Wang, um, David Lazinski, like those guys. I, I feel like 
I've all I, I've met all of them because of YouTube because they made their own content right because they decided to share their story they decided to share their advice in the space so if you guys want to do that I'm totally down to support you um, totally down to collaborate if you want to interview me or you or you want to do like cross promotion or something like let's do it um, I just want to meet more people in space build some connections have some fun right uh, just Corona rise virus thing is like kind of just <laughs> making me like feel like oh what is there a do you know there's only so much business stuff that i can do uh while i'm stuck at home but yeah you know that's kind of like the update of what's really been going on in the past year so you know i think we'll i'll be back for good um and i look forward to like seeing what comments and suggestions you guys have for the channel going forward so let me know in the comments below see you guys there